The cost and volatility of crude oil has prompted many Mainers to switch to natural gas heat. But some people are pointing to the results of a new study as proof that New England needs a bigger natural gas supply to meet its current demand. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill explains. Katie, we talk about energy costs all year long, and there is widespread acknowledgement that curbing those costs is one way to attract and keep businesses here in Maine. Many are pointing to this new study as more proof that natural gas is a key component of our region's energy future. Many Mainers eagerly anticipate the day when natural gas service becomes available at their homes and they can leave behind the days of dealing with the ups and downs of home heating oil. The preliminary results of a new study in Massachusetts indicate that the Commonwealth needs a bigger supply of natural gas to meet its current demand. Advocates for bringing new pipelines into New England say the Massachusetts study shows a region-wide need. Of the long-term plan, I think, in New England is maintain a solid grid, use gas as the backbone, but no more than half of the power uh, generation, and bring in renewables and demand response, energy efficiency. Portland lawyer Tony Buxton is the spokesman for the coalition to lower energy costs. He also works for a company that has proposed a new pipeline project. Buxton has a vested interest, but he says he's not the only one with the dog in this fight. We all are dogs in this fight. We're paying 100% more for electricity today than we should be. The money isn't benefiting anybody. It's not being spent on renewables. It's not being spent on efficiency. And there are lots of people who can't afford this. Opponents of additional pipelines are quick to point out that the focus of this study is not as wide as some people would like to think. Jamie Howland from the environmental group Acadia Center writes, since all New England electric ratepayers are being asked to pay for a new gas pipeline and take on all of the risk associated with that unprecedented request, they deserve a full, fair, and comprehensive assessment of all of the tools available to meet the region's energy needs. No study to date, including this one, comes close to meeting that standard. And the natural gas that Buxton and others are pushing to pipe in comes from New York, Pennsylvania, and Ohio, and it's taken from the ground through a controversial process known as hydraulic fracturing or hydrofracking. The final report from Massachusetts was set to be released today, but it has now been delayed. Live in the studio, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.